Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this kinetic type animation inspired by Pixrate. As always, a huge shout out to Pixrate for its amazing works. You can watch his Instagram, the link is in the description. So now, let's start. Alright, so let's start with making a new composition. I'm going to call it Design. The width at the height is set on 9020 and the duration is 6 seconds, so let's hit OK. And now on the first step, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go towards my type tool and I'm going to write the word good. And then I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to write the word lock. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go towards the align tab and I'm going to align it to the center. And now on the next step, what I want to do, as you saw in the preview, I want to create a stretch text with the letter morphing for these two letters. So to do that, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select the lock and then I'm going to change the font weight to a bolt. So this is the good lock. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to duplicate this layer one more time. And this time I'm going to select the good and then I'm going to change its font weight to bold. However, let's hide this first layer. I'm going to select the lock and I'm going to change it to compressed theme. So this is the text that we have. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create shapes from these two texts. And let's just delete these two texts. We don't need it anymore. And now I'm going to go towards the crazy shapes. And then I'm going to set path keyframes. And then I'm going to move towards one second. I'm going to set another path keys. And then I'm going to select them. I'm going to press Ctrl plus C to copy the keyframes. And then I'm going to select the first keyframes. And I'm going to paste it. So let's delete. Alright, that seems good. Now let's go to towards two seconds and let's paste the first sets of keyframes for the loop. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select these keyframes and then I'm going to go towards the keyframe velocity. And then I'm going to set the influence on 85% for incoming and outgoing velocity. Great. Now let's go towards two seconds and let's trim our time indicator great now oh i accidentally wrote the design wrong so let's change it and now i'm gonna create a new composition i'm gonna call it the effect and i'm gonna bring the design composition in here now it is time to create a displacement effect for our text so to do that, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new solid layer and let's call it displacement map. And now the effect I'm going to use for this video is the cell pattern and there are a bunch of presets in here that you can choose. But for this video, I'm going to leave it to bubbles or you can switch to pillow. So uh, what I'm going to do on the next step is that we need a gradient ramp effect. As you know, the time displacement effect only works with the black and white channels. So I'm going to use set the black channel to here and the white channel to here. Also, now let's blend it with the cell pattern by changing the blend with the original layer. So that seems good. So let's just increase it on like 40 percent and now let's just go and add a fractal noise effect let's just increase the contrast all the way to 200 and let's also navigate to the transform panel and let's uh, increase the scale to 200 as well so now we'll have some texture like this we can also add a fastbox blur effect to make this effect better, but we are not going to do that. So let's just add the time displacement effect. 
and let's just set the time displacement layer to displacement map and let's change it to effects and masks and let's watch okay we have something but that's not good so i'm going to change the max displacement time to 0 0.2 Alright, now we are getting something. So let's just add a Gaussian blur. And let's just increase the Gaussian blur to a number such as like 20. And let's also add a curves effect to remove the. And uh, let's switch to alpha channel and let's remove the blurriness by changing the darker and lighter channel. So now, as you see, we have a. Uh, effect i highly suggest you to play with the cell pattern and try different styles to see how it works so for example crystal or bubbles so don't be scared to try the new effects as you see it gives you a really cool result so what I'm going to do on the last step is that I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to call it main and let's hit OK. And I'm going to bring the effect in here. But let's also go towards the effect composition one more time. And now let's enable time remapping. And let's just add a loop expression. So we can repeat our composition. Great. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy this time remapping expression and then I'm going to paste it for the layer. Let's just set it on zero. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new solid layer and then this time I'm going to call it background. And let's also change its color to a blackish color. All right. And now I'm going to duplicate this effect two times. And I'm going to press U to reveal the keyframes. And I'm going to offset this time remapping effect for 2 milliseconds. So we will have an effect like this. Great. So let's just also change the displacement map to below the same. Great. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a field effect and then I'm going to paste it for each other composition as well. I'm going to change this color to a white and this one I can change it to a bluish color or a purple color. So now let's watch. Okay, I don't like the purple effect. Great, now let's go towards our project panel. And in here I have two textures. I'm gonna bring the first one. Let's just scale it. Great. And let's set the mode on difference. Also, let's bring the second texture. And I'm gonna set it on overlay. So this will be our final result. And I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content. Thank you so much. Goodbye.